Hello YouTube, it's good to see you guys. Today, I'm going to go ahead and uh, disassemble and reassemble the Zastava M70. Uh, that's going to be a military surplus pistol chambered in 32 ACP. Since the pistol I bought was in NRA fair condition, it was very rough. So I had to clean all kinds of rust off of it uh, just upon receipt. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I get rid of the old bluing because it has very little bluing left. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how I take that off. I'm going to use a triple zero rated steel wool and uh, and break free CLP. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how it goes. I'm going to take that all off. That way I can take it somewhere and have it finished. I don't know exactly how I want to have it finished yet. Uh, for all I know I'm just going to blue it again. But uh, I'm open to suggestions in the comments. Um, I don't know if Cerakote or something else might be better. Um, I'm thinking perhaps I might want to either blue the barrel or perhaps just have it polished. And uh, But I don't know. For now, I'm just going to show you guys uh, how I go ahead and get rid of all the, the old bluing. When I got it, it was super rusty, so I got rid of some pitting. I already started sort of but um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it down to bare metal to go ahead and have it refinished so I'm gonna show you how this goes with some triple zero steel wool and um, break free CLP uh, the saving grace of this pistol uh, I bought it in NRA fair condition the saving grace of this pistol was that um, the bore in the barrel is absolutely beautiful. That's uh, why I went ahead and went through all this trouble. Always go ahead and shake up your brake free CLP before use. I suggest you wear gloves when you do this, but I don't have any right now. So I'm going to just wing it. You can either spray it on the firearm or you can spray it on the wool. Either way, you just got to do a whole bunch of scrubbing. Uh, hopefully I won't mess up too much of the insignia and stuff on here. You need a t-shirt or some kind of rag to wipe off and it comes comes right off there's no turning back now fellas you're doing this definitely be careful with your serial numbers you don't want to commit a crime inadvertently you may need to leave the bluing on that tell you how it goes for me I'm definitely not going to mess that those up thanks a lot for watching guys I appreciate your company